gates go back and they are off and racing. I thought Red Moon Rising could have got a better start and that's going to drop anchor towards the back end of the line. Miss New York went to frolic as well as Catalea on speed. Racing about two lengths away to Glee Club, who's got the red jacket, the red cap, philosophize. And behind that, you're going to find Naughty Quest in search of a better position. Racing three deep for now, but no more than two lengths off the leader. Then comes Desert Rose. Cloud Chaser, Joy and Peace, has found itself midfield, about eight lengths off the leader with Mothership. They'll get to know each well, well and about five or six lengths off the leader. Then we go back in the field. You're going to find Green Valkyrie is a long way back with Red Moon Rising. And I would say that's about 12 lengths off the gallop. So they've settled down into formation. It's Miss New York who's gone off to lead them by a length and a tail within second Naughty Quest. Racing in third is Winter Frolic. Philosophize with Catalea. They five lengths off the leader. Then comes Desert Rose with Glee Club. Joy and Peace, Cloud Chaser, Mothership is towards the back end. And Red Moon Rising's a long way in behind. That's about 13 lengths off the leader. They homeward bound. They greet the judge in the first leg of the pick six. And in front is Nordic Quest. On the inside is Miss New York, who's got the pink sleeves and the pink cap. Philosophize to the outside. Desert Rose, Winter Frolic. Then comes Catalea. Further back is Cloud Chaser, but it's Philosophize, who's come forward with purpose to the outside and goes on the attack. Miss New York, Cloud Chaser. Catalea, Desert Rose, but Philosophize. Philosophize gone two lanes clear. Cloud Chaser. So Catalea, they chasing, but they chasing shadows. Philosophers won a good race. Second cloud chaser. Then came Catalea behind that close. Maybe Miss New York and Joy and Peace. Long way from home. So Philosophers, it's been a good run for the ASSM syndicates. Warren Ripon, Arun Chudder. They've certainly had a good week. Just having a look at Turfentine during the course of the week. I think they had three or four winners. And they'll be happy with the way Philosophize has picked it up into the closing stages to win a good race. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson. This one bred by the Boylan Stud Farm. Now becomes a three-time winner from 17 starts. I'll get you back to the studio. The first leg of the jackpot race five at 14.35. Elder, a lot of people would have thought that that might be a surprise result. Did you? Uh, yeah, listen, I know she's capable. That's what I was thinking going through the last furlong and a half. But uh, I was thinking the younger filly's perhaps got the edge over. If I could have chosen, I might have leaned towards the, the, the up-and-coming filly because I think quite a bit of her. But this filly was travelling quite smoothly. I had a momentum. I knew the horse in front of me was going to pull me through. And uh, it was just a matter of building up. And the more I asked her, the more she picked up. And maybe she didn't enjoy Dimble as much as she loves Kennel with. But uh, it was quite fluent. And obviously, it doesn't take a lot of work. Because she seems to be quite effective of that. In terms of the other filly, she seemed to want to make a move up there, but then didn't find anything. So maybe back to the drawing board there. Yeah, probably just going to see how she pulls up from here. She's been working exceptionally well at home, so uh, there's absolutely no reason not to run a really cracking race because she's, she's shown quite a bit. So perhaps still a bit maturing. She looks like she's grown a bit. And uh, yeah, I took take nothing away from this filly. This was a fluent win. So to Arun, Mr. Rippon, uh, they always go uh, full on supporters when this filly goes. And uh, I'm pretty sure they'll be very pleased just before Christmas. Well done to you guys. Well done, Elder. Great stuff. Elder Demeyer gets home on number 10, Philosophers. Thank you very much, Grant, listening to Elder. It's uh, Christmas box time of the year, so hopefully someone got their Christmas box at that price with number 10, Philosophers, the daughter of the United States. Well then to Sinatemba uh, Fasa, he receives his thousand rand. Thank you to Cape Racing and Hollywood Bets. Candice, the condition, and uh, Candice, lovely win from the filly. Yes, Vicky, um, she was travelling well throughout the race and I could see when he came to her for home, she was she was cantering most of up the straight, so she looked like she was going to be very dangerous. She, I think she loves Kenilworth, um, I don't think Durbanville suits her at all, and she didn't show me anything at Durbanville, she just, I don't know if the tracks was too firm for her there or too fast, um, she just didn't really show much at all, so I didn't really know what to expect from her today, I was giving her a last chance and I thought if she didn't show today she's off to, she's going to go off to PE, but uh, she redeemed herself today, so it was actually, actually a very nice win. And, and in relation to other fillies, she almost seemed to have every chance. I know she did a little bit of work from the draw, but um, she seemed to have a clear run up the straight. Yeah, she did, Vicky. She looked like she was hanging quite a bit um, up the straight. Um, I'm not sure why. I'll have to, I haven't spoken to Garrett, so we'll just have to see. She just looked a little bit uncomfortable the last part of the race, but you know, she's a big filly, Vicky, and she shows quite a bit of um, ability at home. So it was a little disappointing from her today. Um, yeah, I'll have to. We'll have to see when I get back. But not to take anything away from this filly's win, to run and warn. Well done to them. 
Luckily for Warren, he, he said to me, lucky he managed to have a bet at 40 to 1, so well done to him, because I actually took the other filly to him, so I'm pleased he redeemed himself, and uh, yeah, very nice for them both, and to Bulan Stadio British, she's been a nice little earning filly. Indeed, well done for the win. Thank you. Yeah, well then to Candice Bass Robinson with regards to number 10, Philosophize, the daughter of the United States, Candice mentioned Bull and Studden, well then to the owners, ASSM Racing.